Only 7% of people use the peach emoji as a fruit. Emojis are taking over, essentially. Um, people think that AI is a problem. <laughs> no, 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 okay. Emojis. This is going to be a really productive episode, I promise. I literally think I still have way too much excitement. And why, is I, why am I out of focus? Okay. There we go, stupid camera. <laughs> need to take an ice cold shower right now. <sighs> okay, strictly speaking, I don't think that was necessary, but then again, 90% of everything I do isn't really necessary, so... At least the hair is prim and primed for a YouTube video. Alle stokies op grappie. Okay, but before we get into this video, we need a prop of some kind, because I need to hold something. I think we should design and print a emoji. So I'm going to hop into Fusion and make something. I don't actually have Fusion installed, which, which is, you know, kind of a problem. Now, right off the bat, it seems that people really like this emoji, um, you know, you know. I really like the ghost emoji though, I think that's super cute. What the hell? Good morning ladies and gentlemen, so I'm not going to lie, it is the next day. So it took me an entire day to design and print this, but you know. Now was it worth it? Well, uh, it's cute though. His name is Cute Lil Ghost. Okay, so the first cool fact about emojis is actually the word. The word itself is Japanese. Now emoji has two parts, the E means picture, and moji means character. So when directly translated, it literally means picture character. Just like we have normal characters on our phone, instead picture characters. Huh. Unfortunately, I don't have my prop anymore because my, my mother kind of bought it. Okay, so this one is kind of interesting. You you can now study emojis. Like, emojis is now a field of study, like university level, PhD, master's, bachelor's, it's... Uh, emoji -hology. The importance of understanding emoji, an investigative study, University of Birmingham. What? Here's another one, look at this. The effect of emoji on person perception. Look how long this is. <laughs> what? Okay, this one is interesting. First university offers the Greek course on interpreting emojis. You can study emojiology at graduate, masters, bachelors, and PhD level. What a time to be alive, hey? Uh... I'm still perplexed because I don't know how, how do you even convey that to someone like Hey, what do you study? Well, actually, you know, I'm getting my bachelor's degree this year in Emojiology. Emojiology, you say, huh? Yeah, you know, you know, you know. I have to study something, you know. There are tons of little secrets that can be found on the calendar emoji. For example, on iOS, the calendar emoji says July 17th, which is World Emoji Day. Also in July 17 was back in the day in 2002, when iCal, which is iCalendar, was released for Macintosh. This one is called iCal. It's a calendar system for Mac. We've needed a great calendar system that's super easy to use, and iCal is that. Now the next one is kind of interesting. The calendar emoji on WhatsApp 
shows 24 February yeah the 24th of Feb and that was actually when WhatsApp was registered as a company when they became incorporated all the way back in 2009 and then of course the Facebook calendar emoji is March 14th or no May 14 sorry about that which is the birthday of Zuckerberg. I only have my bachelor's in emojis, I still need to do my master's, so I, I have an excuse. Uh, okay, let's quickly talk numbers for a second because it seems to me that the emoji community is just obsessed with numbers. So the brand or term emoji, I don't really know who controls the emoji, but it's currently at version 12. And it contains all the new emojis like the the pinching hand and the yawning face and there's also a bunch of new disability emotions that i think is actually rather good and emoji version 12 has a grand total of three thousand emojis only seven percent of people use the peach emoji as a fruit the first emoji was created in 1998 when I was born. You are now looking at Shigetaka Kurita. This man is the original inventor of the emoji. This is the Instagram account of Shigetaka. You will never suspect, look at that, only 623. You will never suspect this guy to be the original inventor of emojis. Maybe just someone who likes, you know, a little grilled eel or cake. He has good taste though, but you'll never suspect him to be the father of emoji. But when you go down the rabbit hole, you will soon find out that he is indeed the guy behind it all. Just look at that shrug smile. <laughs> you gotta love this man. Now when Shige Taga was tasked to design the first 170 something emojis, he had to do so in a 12 by 12 pixel block. Now, that doesn't sound like an issue, but the problem with the 12 by 12 block is that there's no center point. So it made everything extremely tedious and time consuming. Now, I'm a marketer for a living. I do Facebook marketing and things like that. And the annual increase in emoji usage in business and marketing is increasing with 700%. And last but not least, the most popular emoji is still the crying face with tears of joy emoji as it's always been I don't think it's going to change anytime soon that's just my educated guess billion 300 million mentions on Twitter and emoji tracker started counting in 2013 I, I, I believe so it's safe to say that 25 Bill, uh, that emoji is quite popular and that's one emoji on one platform it's a swing <laughs>